hi guys welcome to today's find so today i'm going to show you guys how to fix your keyboard so if your keyboard stop working guys first thing that you need to do that's the great tip is to turn on your on-screen keyboard so to turn on your on-screen keyboard guys you need to uh, get to settings so i'm going to type in settings and click on settings and uh, under settings you're gonna uh, so this is where you, this is your settings you need to search for ease of access click on ease of access and on your left side you will have heaps of tabs so under the interaction tab see, under the interaction tab you will have keyboard click on keyboard right click on keyboard and you're gonna enable the on-screen keyboard that's it yeah so your on-screen keyboard is turned on so we, I just want to get rid of the on-screen keyboard for now. So I'm just going to minimize the on-screen keyboard. If I want it, I can just get it from the tab. So that's easy as it is. So it's turned on. So let's minimize it. Close it. All right. So since uh, your keyboard is not working, first you need to go and check your drivers. To check your drivers, click on uh, Windows. Right click on Windows. Get to the device manager. Once you get to the device manager, you need to find for keyboard and drop it down. There you see, you see standard PS slash two keyboard. If your keyboard driver is not installed, you'll have this, uh, you'll have a warning sign next to the standard, uh, right? So which means that your driver is not installed. That's the reason uh, I assume that your keyboard is not working. So to install the driver, right click on it and update driver. And you want to search automatically for the drivers right and then it's going to install the driver but in your case even that doesn't work sometimes update your driver doesn't fix the problem the warning sign still remains the same so that's the purpose of this video so if that happens guys what you need to do is let me show you right you need to uh, get to the registry editor right you need to go to the search tab type reg and you will find something called registry editor app once you open that right yes once you open that you need to find uh, this tab right uh, h key local machine right just drop that down and then we are going to find uh, let me show you we're going to find systems under systems we're going to get to current control setup under that we're going to go to controls controls under controls we need to find something called class right under class is very important guys there's a lot of class right we need to find uh, this number called 10310 three one eight right this is the code and we're gonna find for 96 uh, let me see 96 B this one right take a picture of it guys you can take your phone or something or write it down so this is the exact code that you have to be looking for under class right 96 B and the end code should be 1038 once you click that onto the right side guys there's some informations this is a very important page guys if you have a mobile phone you can take a picture of it right now or you if you have a piece of paper just write it down or you can even take a screenshot this is very important <clears throat> on your screen you need to have the same set of values or data on your screen as well right if you do not have this your driver is not going to get installed on the device manager so just take a just take a picture of this let me give you a close-up so this is the right information that you need to have on your computer so the most important one is the uh, is the uh, class this has to have a keyboard as the data value and the upper filter should have the kbd class right as a data value so just take a picture of it and that should definitely solve your problem guys so once you have all the information correct just close it uh, get to device manager get to device manager right click on it you're gonna update the driver and click on browse my computer for drivers right 
and click on let me pick from the list right and click this keyboard just click it and click on next and then windows has successfully updated your drivers just close it right it it will ask you to restart your computer you restart your computer and this is going to fix your problem guys if you have a problem with the driver this is a hundred percent fix i definitely guarantee you this is going to solve your problem right if you have any questions guys please do leave it in the comment section below and uh, so yeah that's it for today guys uh, thank you for watching please do subscribe i always make something that is useful for you guys and there's always something for you to learn thank you very much guys love you guys welcome to today's find